Millions of people use Slack every day. If you are one of them, you might be tired of seeing a purple and white screen every single time you open Slack. So here's a tutorial on how to change your Slack theme using only your phone. So if you open the Slack app and you swipe in from the left hand side and you see preferences with the gear icon, press that and then go to dark mode. And then you have the option to change between light mode and dark mode. And while this feature is nice to have, that's not exactly what we are looking for. It's not the objective of this tutorial. We want to change the color of our Slack app. So this is not how to do it, as you can see. So here's what you want to do. Swipe in from the left hand side and find the workspace that you would like to customize. In my case, it's CIR113. So you can go just below that bold text and you'll see gray text that says CIR113.slack.com. That is the URL of this workspace. So make a note of that and exit the app. Next, open your web browser of choice. I'll be using Google Chrome. And that same URL that you noted down from earlier, type that in. So CIR113.slack.com and press enter. Okay. And that takes you to a very, very unhelpful web page because all it says is get the Slack app. But you know that the Slack app doesn't have the option to customize your theme. So you're going to be a little bit devious. Click the three dots in the right hand side and you see where it says desktop site? Press that. Now if you're on iOS, you can find the little capital A and the lowercase a and select that. It should be somewhere on your screen. And inside of that should be the option to select desktop site. And of course, if you're on any other web browser or any other operating system, just dig around and I'm sure you'll find it. I do believe in you. So just as a side note, whenever you say request desktop site, what you are telling your phone to do is to behave like a computer because you know that computers have a lot more capabilities than your phone. So when you say request desktop site, you will see the website that would appear if you were using a computer on the same website. So once that page loads, you can swipe in or zoom in to the left hand side where it says menu, click those three lines and say back to Slack. Once that loads, you will now have access to your Slack workspace, which is perfect. It looks just like what you would see if you logged into Slack on a PC. And now you've done all the hard work. There are only two steps left. Now zoom in to the top right and select your icon, your profile picture. Then move back over and select preferences. And here you can see that the preferences menu is a lot better than what they have in the mobile app. If you go down to the side, you can say themes, and here you can change the theme or the colors used in your app. So I'm going to select terminal because I think it's the best one to demonstrate to you um, the change that this will have on your Slack theme. And you select that and you can look around the app and you see that all the borders have actually changed color. So let's exit this, go back into our Slack app and you can see almost immediately that the colors have actually changed. So you can see that the, the top border has changed as well as the message button. So I know what you're going to say to me. Well, that's a lot of work to just change the borders of the app. Is that as good as it gets? And my answer is yes, unfortunately. Um, you can change between dark mode and light mode and then it will look a little bit different, but for the most part it only changes the borders of the app. Um, I know it's not a significant difference, but even the small changes, um, when you are used to seeing purple and white every day, even a small change can make such a big difference to your mood and the way you feel overall. Um, and it just makes it a little bit more exciting to open each thing, especially if you have lots of Slack channels and each one is a different color, it gives you something to look forward to every day. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If it did help you, please press the like button and that helps this video get shared to even more people. And if you are able to, please press that subscribe button. Um, it really helps the channel to grow and that way I can help even more people. So once again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.